Hello everyone, this is Charlie for Spada Home and today I'm about to get inside this cozy apartment. We are in Via Oderisi da Gubbio, a uh, neighborhood portuense. Actually, we are in a melting point between three main streets, which are Marconi, Portuense and Genicolense. And from here uh, you can get um, the main means of transportation are the buses that we get to connect it to the city center or to Marconi and Termini, uh, city center to Piazza Venezia. You're really close to um, Stazione Trastevere and there you can find a lot of trams and also the train station, city train station that we get to connect it to Fiumicino. And uh, here you have all the services you need. Uh, you have just outside the building, you can find, it's a commercial road, so you can find all the services, all the shops, bars, pizzerie, uh, supermarkets, and you're really close to San Camillo Hospital, Hospital and Bambin Gesù. Uh, so yeah, let's get you inside. So I'm starting from the corridor because this is the all entrance, but there's no light, so I'm showing you here. This is the main door. You have the doorbell here. As you can see, it's a little bit messy because all this stuff needs to be uh, needs to be uh, not rented by. Uh, I don't get the word in English, but uh, all this stuff will be sell away. So they're waiting for people to come and get it. And here we enter this long corridor that we get you to the kitchen. Here we are. So it's quite spacious and bright full. And here you have the fridge with a freezer. Here you have all the shelves where you can find some pads, some posate. Here you have the sink. Here you have the dish dryer. So as you can see, it's fully equipped. You have mugs, cups. Of course, to share with the other tenants. Here you have the stove, the oven, the dining table. There you have all the shelves with the dispenser. You also have a microwave here. There you go. And this little balcony area. And this is the view that gets on the interior of the building from the complex. So it's really quiet although it's not the most amazing view and here along uh, actually here uh, the first bedroom is right there so bedroom number one we are in four in a four bedroom apartment on a fourth floor so that is bedroom number one and this is bedroom number two which is taken uh, from a really nice guy who, who has a really cute dog uh, and she's really nice, really calm, and for most of the time she lives in the bedroom, so you won't have her around the house. Here we have bedroom number three. Here we are. As you can see, it's quite messy because still as for the entrance, there's a lot of stuff that needs to go away. And here you have a single bed, but once it will go away, you see there's a really big space. So here you have the single bed, you have the desk, the view on the entire condo complex. Unfortunately, it's a rainy day, so the light's not quite good. You also have a mirror right there. Here we have bedroom, bathroom number one, which the tenants told me that it's female use only. So here you have the bathtub, you have a really big sink with the cabinets, you have a big mirror, you have the bidet, you have uh, the BC right there, and you have the eating center and the laundry machine, which is uh, shared between all the tenants, so the guys will enter just to use the washing machine. And here we have bathroom number two, which is mainly guys used by guys, so it's smaller than the other one, but still you have the sink, mirror, you have the shower here, you have the VC, you have the beta, and here we enter bedroom number four, which is the smallest one. 
So here you have a single bed, you have the desk there, you have the eating center, the view is on the interior of the condo complex as well, and here's the wardrobe. There you go. Of course, all these bags will go away. And here we are. So, guys, that was pretty much about it. I hope you enjoyed this tour. I hope it's been helpful. I will recommend this place for mainly for students that don't uh, quite mind uh, a place, a quite messy place. And I'm not gonna lie, it's quite messy. Uh, it's not the cleanest, but yet yeah, has everything you need that you want, all the connections. Uh, you have also the connections to uh, the bus that we get to, to San Paolo, so uh, that we get to connect to Roma 3 University. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you got any other questions, please go to websites.com and I will see you again in another program.